Hello friends, welcome again to another session on elements of Indian mathematics. In this session, we are going to do a, a very interesting construction. Now this uh, construction has been uh, discussed by Euclid as well. But we are going to take a look at uh, how Indian mathematicians and uh, precisely how the scholars who wrote Sulba Sutras have uh, you know, uh, discuss this construction or have done this construction. Now, what is this construction all about? So, basically, we are going to discuss a method of uh, constructing a square equal in area that of a rectangle. Once again, so we are going to construct a square equal in area of that of given rectangle. So, let's begin the construction. So, for that, I'm going to first draw a rectangle so let us say i am drawing this rectangle so let me draw the rectangle first so let me draw the polygon rectangle so you can see i am drawing this a b c d perfect so this is a rectangle the area how much is the area let's see its area so its area is 54 okay so let us uh, just hide this area for the time being now, what, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, construct a square uh, whose area is 54. So, how do I do it? So, first I will do the constructions. So, uh, pay attention to the steps which I am following and then I will, am going to prove that also why it is working. Okay. So, let us first draw or complete the construction. So, what I am going to do first is I am going to draw a square with length DC here or cut out a square with length or side DC. So, how do I do it? So basically, I'll take a circle and uh, this circle is centered at C and it passes through D. So clearly, this point E, so CE is equal to CD, right? Radii of the same circle, so done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a perpendicular line on E perpendicular to this line, yeah. So if you look at this point F, Right, so D C E F is the required square. Okay, now I'm going to hide these things because I don't need them anymore. So let me hide these. Okay, so and let me join F E. Clear. So F E is a square whose side is the breadth of the given rectangle. This is the first step. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this rectangle into two halves two halves equal halves so for that i need to take the midpoint so let me take the midpoint of a and f so g is the midpoint of af and now i'm going to draw another perpendicular line on g on af like that okay so if you look at it this these two rectangles so a g h b and g f e h r equal in area is it so now let me again take this away i don't require it and let me draw the segment g h done so you what have we done so far we have created a rectangle random rectangle whose area was 54 square units then i constructed a square with the base same as the or the side same as that of the breadth of the rectangle then whatever is the leftover portion of the rectangle i divided into two parts okay this one and this one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to re reproduce this rectangle on the sides here EC. What do I mean is, I have to create a rectangle like that, whose area is same as any of these rectangles. So let me do that. How do I do it? So let me have that line back. Which line? Or rather, let me draw a line. This line, FE connected line, right? So this is a line. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to draw a circle with center E and radius EH. Now you can see this E and let me name this point. This point is I. So EI is equal in length to EH. Radii of the same circle. Okay. And now if I drop a perpendicular from I. So let me name this point as J. So what do you think guys? IJ length is equal to CE. Is it? It's a rectangle. Perfect rectangle. And EI is same as EH. So in a way, this rectangle, look at this rectangle, E, C, J, 
and I uh, is equal in area to G F E H. Isn't it? Why? Length is same. Length is same. So F E is the length here. E C is the length here. And E I is the breadth here and E H is the breadth here. So both are same. So hence the area of again E C J I is equal to H G F E. Right? Is that okay? So I hope this is clear. So let me now take away this circle. I don't require it. I don't require it either. I don't require it anymore. So let me now construct the rectangle once more or let me complete this rectangle. So E I and I J and J C. Okay, guys. So E C J I is equal in area to J G F E H or A G H B. Fine. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, first of all let me also extend these lines. So there was few lines. Let me open them up. Yeah. So I need I will be needing this line. Yeah. And I will also be needing this line. Okay. Perfect. Now. So look carefully what I'm going to do. Now I am taking J and this point. Which point here? K. J K. J K as the radius and J as the center. So look, J as the center and K as the radius. I have now found out a point where the circle is intersecting this HE. So this point is, let me make it a little bit more zoomed in. So yeah, HL, I hope this is visible to all of you. So let me put this L here. So these two points, I hope um, this is clear, right? Let me take it to the center here. Yeah, okay, perfect. So you can see this HL, right? Now, another thing which I need to do is I need to drop a perpendicular from this point L, sorry, this point L and onto this line. Okay, perfect. Now, when you do this, this line here, the line perpendicular to HE on L cuts IK here. Let me zoom in again and yeah, M. So M is the right now. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to draw a square with side MJ. MJ once again M J. Okay, and this MJ is the required side of the square. So let me draw a circle like that. Okay, and so this is one point. So let me name this point here. N and again a circle from N or rather I need not draw a circle I can just draw a perpendicular line from N onto this so here is the point of intersection where is the point of intersection this one O and let me draw a polygon again with M J N O back to back to M no sorry the last one was not done properly so once again so let me zoom in first for a clear view. Okay, so let me yeah do this. Now am I what am I doing? I am joining the or I am creating this polygon M, J, N, O, and back to M. So this is the polygon required polygon, guys. So uh, this is the required square J N O K. Let's try and measure the area. So you had measured this area as was fifty four. This area is also fifty four. Amazing, isn't it? So by this construction. We could uh, get a square which has same area as that of the given rectangle. So hence, we could convert a rectangle into a square of same area. That's the construction. Now, how did it all happen? Let's now look at the proof.